What up YouTube? So today we're gonna to do a C-Class 2023 Mercedes review. So first we're gonna start with the engine. It's a 2.0 turbocharged engine, four cylinder, nothing too special. Everything organized, look well put together inside. We got the Mercedes logo. It's kind of the same as the 2018. Nothing too special about it. No upgrades on the engine there. The rims are still kind of the same type of style rims. Still looks good. Still got the Mercedes logo in there. It is a coupe, so the doors are gonna look unique and cool when you put the windows down. You got the sunroof, of course. This is a four-seater, so they haven't made any updates on the on the seats or anything like that. The style is a little bit different. This car is a little bit bigger than the last last year's car. That's one thing I do like about it. You gotta put a little bit more gas in it though. So here we get to the trunk. One thing I like about the trunk, the newer Mercedes, this is how you open the trunk. Simply just put your finger right there and the trunk opens. I'll do it again one more time for you. Trunk space a little bit bigger, C-Class 250. You still got the fake exhaust pipes. The exhaust pipes are really inside of the Mercedes. These are not real. Just meant to look stylish and cool. You got more sensors. You got a lot more sensors. You got the trunk sensors. You got a whole bunch of extra uh, sensors that added on the car. Typical ox tank right here that you have, you have to put 93. I don't know why I said 91. But I guess you can, I didn't even notice, but you can put the minimum of ox tank at 91 instead of 93. I've never seen that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Save you a little bit of gas. One caveat I don't like about the coupe is this part right here. It kind of looks weird. I wish it was like the front and it didn't have this little extra mirror right here, but it's still a coupe, so it still looks cool when all the windows are down, the sunroof is down still looks pretty stylish um, it's not as fast as I want it to be but it's still pretty fast I'm gonna cut off the car so you can see the headlights the headlights are advanced they did change up the headlights a little bit that's one thing I do like about the newer model and I'm gonna let you see how it sounds it doesn't sound too sporty or anything like that but it still sounds pretty nice You got the advanced lights. Mercedes came out with a new style. So that's how you know you got a newer Mercedes. People that have a Mercedes will automatically know you got a newer Mercedes just by that. Uh, people that have Mercedes fans. The grill is a little bit different from the last grill. It comes down a little bit lower. One thing about the trunk as well, it got a lot of more clearance room. So it's not as low as the old models. That's one thing I like about the Mercedes as well. More sensors with this model as well. Let me show you what the signals look like. Now that's what the left one looks like. You know, of course, you always got it in the mirror as well. So that comes standard with pretty much all Mercedes. I'll show you what the back one looks like. So they did get some new ones in the back as well. Different from the old model. That's pretty cool as well. I like that. The older Mercedes will sit pretty low. This one is sitting pretty high. So if you're going over a bump or anything, or you got a driveway that's you gotta go up like a hill, it gives you a little bit more room so you don't bump your bump or anything like that. This one came with kind of like a tinted window. So I like that about the Mercedes. I don't think all of them come like that, but this one did. Let's take a look in the inside of the car. As you can tell, it has an extra protection up here. So if it's super sunny outside, you have an extra layer of protection. So that one is just for the sun. Now you can see your sunroof. So I like how they added that. That's pretty cool. Now you can actually open up your sunroof.
doesn't go all the way back kind of goes halfway a little bit more than half maybe three-fourths that's how the sunroof opens you just touch that button and it automatically close for you so that's pretty cool all right so the inside of the car it's not really that dark right now so you can't see the lights as well but still in the daytime the lights are still showing you see it in the the climate control right here it's still showing blue under the seats are blue just blue all around that's one thing i do like about the c-class they upgraded usually you have to get like a a different a, like an amg or a different brand of mercedes to get the lights installed in your car but with the c-class it automatically comes with it i guess they're doing that with the newer cars i like that about mercedes so you don't have to spend an extra twenty thousand dollars just for lights to come in your car so you got the lights also and these cup holders right here you got the lights all around the car um that's pretty cool you got a new screen as well so the dash is completely new it's basically digital everything is digital about this car so this is pretty hard not gonna lie everything just looks really really new really 2023 technology man so you have a mouse right here too i'm not a huge fan about the mouse but if you are you could just simply just change your songs by sliding to the right or sliding to your left or you could go all the way up to push home and how you push enter is you just simply just push the mouse down so you can do anything from here you go up down you can search you can type up any word you want to that's pretty neat or if you want to you can just touch the screen so it is touch screen you got your all your settings anything you want to get to your mercedes me your info your comfort your media your radio anything you want to get to you could do a touch screen or you could use with the mouse if you're trying to change your volume you could change it right here as well you could cut it up or down or you could do it from your steering wheel so you got two settings to cut up your volume up or down you can also change your dynamic settings from where the mouse is located at so if i wanted to change to eco sports individual anything i want to do you could do it from there or you could go inside here and do it as well so anything you want to do you could do your seat comfort you could do your lighting anything you want to do you go to your settings your vehicle then you go to your dynamic settings and you could do it do it from there as well your drive your steering your esp if you want to do it that way you don't have to click all that you could just you could just click this button right here down or up and it'll automatically go to it so you don't have to waste any time looking for it on your screen you can also go to your home screen by pushing this mouse right here or you could go left or right it has a left or right button right there or you can go back so it's a whole bunch of options they offer in this this is your park right here if you want to go on park it shows your active parking assistance this is how you get to your car information you just push the car this is how you go to your favorites so you got everything you want right here your sound your display it's a whole bunch of more options on the newer car that's one thing i like about the newer 2023 c-class you got your radio right here your navigation maps and your telephone so everything's right here you don't have to look for anything if you don't want to but like i said i like the touch screen so i already just find the touch screen you got your climate controls right here this is how you turn it up and down so this is high then you go all the way down you go low whichever one you want to so you got this one this one automatically pulls up your climate settings then you can do the touch screen so it's a little bit easier this is for your face it's for your feet so then the next one you could kind of barely see it but it's the next one over and you could control your airflow you can cut it all the way high or all the way low up to you 
or you can cut it on auto and your car will automatically do what it feels like it needs to do. Then you got your defroster as well right here. And you got your emergency lights right there in the middle. And this is the same thing, but just for the passenger side. So if the passenger wants to do their own settings or whatever they want to do, they could do that all from their side. They don't have to mess with your side. The two individual sides, they can do it from. This is how you search up anything. You just push up, push that button right there. You can search anything, any notifications that will come up. We'll let you know by pushing that right there. This pretty much is the same thing all right here. So if you don't want to use the mouse, you could go to home from right here. You could go to your volume, your phone call, anything you want to do by pushing a button, your favorites again. You can set your cruise control right here. Still got the seat controls on the door. All you do is just push your finger back and it'll go back. Then we push it forward and it'll go forward. And this is how I lean back. by pushing this top one and going back. And you could go up as well. And if you got multiple people driving this car, you could push either one, two, or three. You would just hold this down and it'll automatically save to the setting you wanted to. So for me, I would push number one because I'm driving the car the most. So if my girlfriend or anybody else wanted to get into it, they would save it as number two. Then all they would do simply is just by getting in the car, push over a button and it'll automatically go to their seat preference that they want to. So that's another thing I like. And you got three options you could save it under. The window settings are right here as well. The mirror settings right here as well. So just push left and you can control everything by that. You got your lock button right here, your unlock button right there. Anytime you open a door or anything like that, it will show all up there. So if the hood's open, anything, it will show. So if I wanted to clean my window, I would just push this button inside and it will shoot out that spray. And it'll clean my window. You push this down and it will go left. Push this up, it will go right. Nothing too special there. Push this back and your bright lights will cut on. You got your shift panels right here if you wanted to shift. And you also got your lights right here. So if you don't want it to be auto, you can put it to the setting you want it to be. Then you got your seat warmers. So your seat warmers are right here. So you got three settings on your seat warmers. You could push into number three and it'll be the highest. Or you can leave it at one, whichever one you want to leave it at. That's how you cut it off when you see no lights. That's one thing I like about it. So it's nowhere around here where it's in the way of anything, taking up too much space. So you have your radio, your phone, your glove department right there. Pretty standard glove department. Your media. Settings for your seats. So you got more seats options. All you do is push play and it will adjust your seat to your driver or the passenger side, however you want. All this does is raises your seat where you're sitting at. So it just simply tilts your seat like this, this part right here. So this would tilt up. And if you don't want it to tilt up, all you do is just unplay it and it will go back down. Cause some people like to sit higher. You got your colors right here. You got ocean blue, purple sky, red moon, fire red. You can also do multi-color animation if you don't want one standard color throughout your car. Also, if you don't want the colors they give you for an option, you could choose your own color. This is pink right now. You go to red. You go to any color you want. It's a rainbow. So you could adjust it to what color you want to. I prefer the blue because it looks the darkest. Pretty, it looks pretty cool as well to me. That's just my preference. Like I said. So you could change the climate control to what color you want to. 
it doesn't have to be the same color as this one right here or this one you could change that completely up to you so it could be pink if you wanted to and these ones can be red or blue whatever you want to you really play with that thank y'all for making it this far throughout the video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe follow my instagram it's in the descriptions um if you have a good idea or any video car video you want me to do what type of car you want me to do Put it in the comment section and I'm going to get at you. Right here, all I'm doing is just switching up the lights, showing you different type of features this car has or whatnot. You know what I mean? So just make sure y'all subscribe and put in the comments what video y'all want next. I appreciate y'all for watching. We out. Got your info. Information about the car right here, your vehicle settings. Your acceleration settings and your brakes, it just tells you what level it's at. So you got your vehicle information right here, your battery vote, your engine performance, your consumption, your operator manual, got everything right here if you wanted to take a look at that. So your consumption about the car, tells you your fuel consumption, averaging about 24.5, so that's a little high, but that's not too bad. Especially because you could put 91 in here if you wanted to. You don't have to put 93. So this is your Mercedes apps. I don't know if anybody told you about Mercedes apps. But as soon as you downloaded this app, you could track where your car is at all times. You could see your speed. You could cut on your car. You could do anything you basically want except drive your car with the Mercedes app. And again, you have your settings. You got a lot of more options with this as well, just with the newer car. It tells you about your system, your ESP if you want to play with that so this tells you how long your car lights will stay on you can put it for 60 seconds 15 seconds 30 seconds 45 seconds however you want to also you can do the inside the same as well you can leave your your lights on running the whole time if you want your day run lights on i like to leave it on pretty cool look so one thing i also like about this car the reverse setting so it gives you two options to look at you got the one where it's like that and you got the one where it's actually your car so it lets you know how to park so if i was to park real quick let me show you a sample so even when i'm in drive it kind of stays on until i actually start driving that's a pretty cool trick they got on there so now i'm in reverse so if i wanted to use my first camera i could know know how I'm parking versus using my second camera you got two camera options it's another cool trick they got on the Mercedes then you can cut on all your assistance if you want your assistant parking on or anything like that then it tells you when you're in rear reverse and anything like that that's another cool thing and to put this thing in drive you go up and down to go up is put it in a reverse you push it all the way down that's how you drive and if you push this button in, that's how you go and park. So in order for me to go and drive, I'll have to put my foot on the brake and push it down. And you heard the auto start. So when you open up the door, you got the Mercedes logo on the driver's side and the passenger side. That's a little cool trick they added on to the car as well. It's a four seater car. So you got your cup holders. They didn't really do too much upgrade from the last year, make a model of this car just simply pull this thing down right here and push this see drinks come out you can close that back up it's a lot more room in this car you still got your lights in the back as well so they didn't miss anything with the lights you got them in the front and the back yes and you also have your two vents right there another thing i like about the center console is this is how you open it you just push the button and it opens like that. It's like a magic trick. That's pretty cool. So, got a little junk in there. But again, just push this button, but you gotta close it with your hand. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if I was just to give this review out of five, I'd say, I'd say a four for sure. The performance is just not there yet. It still sounds good. It's still pretty fast. It's just not as fast as I want it to be. Everything inside looks amazing engine everything looks organized very easy to get to anything i want to get to touch screen or if i don't want to use the touch screen i can use the mouse or i can use the controls on the steering wheel 
So this car overall, like I said, I rated a 4.5. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. They did some upgrades, some major upgrades on the dash, the dashboard and the infotainment screen. The infotainment screen looks amazing. That's the one thing I do like about the car. That's how you automatically know it's a new car as soon as you get in. That's pretty pressure. I ain't gonna lie. The grill is a little bit different. One thing I do like as well, and it's a little bit lower, so it looks a little bit more sporty. The stylish look they added on. You got the Mercedes logo. When you open up the door, so at nighttime it just looks cooler. From the outside, you can see the lights on there right now. It still, it still looks good. Just open up the door, you can automatically see the lights in there without even being inside the car. It just looks brand new in here. 2023 Mercedes. C class. Then you come to the back. Like I said, the back's a little bit higher, so you don't gotta knock anything down. And it's bigger than the other versions. I think that made the trunk a little bit bigger. That's why the back looks a little bit bigger and larger. So I, I like that about the car. That's pretty much it about the car. Like I said, 4.5 reviews. I really can't complain. The only thing I can say, I wish it was a little bit faster. Everything else is pretty good. Like I said, Mercedes did a good job with this C-Class 250 Mercedes Coupe car. Like I said, you got that new feature where you just simply touch that, the trunk opens, the back is way bigger, the trunk is way bigger, it's a lot more room, it's a little bit bigger. I just love everything about this car, even the clearance it got. So everything in this car is pretty cool. And you got the tinted windows as well. So windows are not always tinted but it comes a little bit tinted so that's pretty cool as well and you always of course got that cool little coupe look when the windows are down so it looks sportier i like how they did the sunroof the sunroof is a little bit different they they got it where the the window is kind of in the back you see what i mean that's another cool look they added on there don't forget to like subscribe and comment and we out